I'm Lisa Birnbach for Houdini. We all know the search for romance is tough. You meet, he doesn't like you, you don't like him, maybe there's someone else. He says he'll call, then he doesn't call. What was he thinking? Let's ask Stefan Springman, creator and host of the hit VH1 show, Can't Get a Date. Uh, I'd like to know about rejection. I really would. Who rejects whom more, you or us? Men versus women? Yes. Um, it's really the man's job to get rejected. Um, that's one of the most difficult things about dating, is to put yourself on the line like that and um, take someone's opinion about your self-worth. It's funny that you may not like him or her, but you want them to like you enough so that, why? So that your, your ego is protected? Is that it? Well, sure. It's like dating is a cruel sorting process. Everybody's looking for sort of the best deal they can get. It's really a marketplace, right? Um, and if somebody's telling you that you're not worth as much as they are, it hurts no matter who that is. Don't you think that women are very conscientious about not being hurtful when we're rejecting somebody? I mean, we've perfected the little white lies of I'm busy or I already had plans or... Well, if you tell somebody you're busy, that means they're going to keep thinking about you and they're going to um, come to you two, two weeks later, then three weeks okay, later. Okay, um, I'm busy. Oh, gosh, my... Um, you're just putting them off. Putting them off. Okay, good point. How about um, I've met somebody else? Sure. If you're not interested in the person, you don't want to tell them the truth. You right. don't want to tell them that they're a loser or a creep, all right? Because they're still a human being. They may not be a loser or a creep. They may be a very nice guy for whom you feel no affinity. Exactly. Right. Um, and so um, I would pretend to be Audrey Hepburn, and I would tell them what an awesome person they were, but that they're not your type. That way you put an end to it. How about, um, but I have a friend I'd like to introduce you to. That's I a think great one. The two of you would get along really well. Sure, why not? What about uh, men rejecting us? Do you think that you do a good job as a species, as a gender? Men are ter terrible at rejecting um, women because they don't really get put in a position all that often. Not that many um, women ask men out. Um, and when they do, the men tend to not know how to do it. Uh, the general rule is uh, well, to just fade away. N no. I think the right thing to do is to say, Something, uh, not I'm not interested in you because that would really hurt. But how about this is a bad time? I'm not ready for a relationship. It's been great knowing you, but I'm gonna fade away. Does that hurt hurt less than just fading away? Well, the problem with fading away is then no one there isn't closure and nobody really knows what happened. What you're saying is that you should tell somebody when you're no longer interested in them. Right. But that's not how it works in the real world. People when they're no longer interested in. They don't return a phone call. They just tend to fade away. If you call somebody and he doesn't return your call um, one time, that means he's not interested. If you call him again after that and he returns your call, he may um, be interested in something that you are not interested in. For example, he may think, oh, well, maybe I'll just go for easy sex with this woman, which is not something you're looking for. Why do men say they'll call who have no intention of calling? Um, because it's easy. It's the easy way out. I just think it's unfair. It, I mean, it, it's terribly unfair. Yeah. It's like there's nothing fair about dating. Um, it's a terrible and awkward thing, but it's also glorious. Women, when we reject a man, and I'm not talking about necessarily to go on a date, but it may be after we've been dating somebody for a few weeks and we decide this isn't working, this isn't going anywhere, our values are too different, whatever. We generally try in the kindest way possible, often with a little white lie or fabrication to make it easier on his ego to let him know that this isn't going anywhere. Okay. Men just disappear and leave us hanging and we don't know what we did right or wrong. We don't have an, we don't have an exit interview. If you've been seeing somebody for a while, you shouldn't just disappear. Let me make that clear. Disappearing is when you're first starting to court. Maybe you get somebody's phone number and you call them up and they don't return the call. They're not returning the call is sufficient to say that they're not interested. If you've been seeing this person for a couple of weeks, you're owed a bit of an explanation. You know, you need to figure out how to do it in a nice way. Or just tell them what a great person that they are, but they're just um, not your type. Because um, how can you argue with that? But right. you're definitely putting an end to it. Okay. Very good. For Houdini, I'm Lisa Birnbach.